Hello guys. Uh, so uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, model uh, with the animate the CSS. If you haven't heard about the animate the CSS, it's basically uh, containing any animation that you can think of, like the flip out or maybe yeah they they have a bunch of it. For checking the box, uh, I have no idea what it is. So. So let's start uh, the tutorial. So this is the uh, I have make a, a simple structure for the model. This is a normal model by default. Uh, it uses the fade animation by the Bootstrap itself. And so this is it. Uh, as you can see, I have a. Add, uh, sorry, maybe I need to zoom in a bit. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, include the animate uh, CSS in here. Uh, I just use the CDN for simple uh, purpose. So we have a button and the model as uh, as well. So what we need to do is uh, adding a, a basic class for it. For example, animated and animated bones. For example, here let's add a edit save it and let's see how it look like uh, I just add the class for bounce so it just look like this yeah it's simple and and then what we want to uh, what we want to make now is uh, adding the animation in and animation out as well since as you can, as you can see it just bounce on uh, out of at the first time and then when we close it, it doesn't have any uh, any animation at all so what we want to do is just leave the basic i mean the default uh, class here animate uh, underscore, underscore underscore animated and then uh, let's make a, like a, an attribute uh, containing the animation that we want for for the animation in like uh, so that the data animate uh, in equal to uh, let's say the uh, let's choose the cooler one <laughs> for example uh, uh, for example this light speed I think it's uh, yeah that it's kind of cool so let's just copy it and then paste it inside the, uh, our new attribute and then let's make a uh, uh, attribute for the, the for the animation out uh, data animate uh, sorry animate out equal to let's choose a different one maybe roll out yeah yeah it's it's kind of weird but let's just use it roll out copy it and then paste it here so we have uh, edit here and then if we just save it like this uh, it doesn't do anything we just add the attribute for this model but uh, nothing happened so what we need to do is uh, as usual make a, a jQuery script for that uh, let's say uh, virtual document ready function and then for the model just use a simple one model uh, and then uh, uh, let's just save it to an uh, I'm sorry, uh, a variable for model model element model. and then uh, first we need to move this uh, model uh, I'm sorry this class animate like speed in uh, into this class into the model class so just add it model uh, l uh, that uh, answer attribute uh, just to get the attribute of the animate in and then let's just uh, add class for that this is a basic one add in Save it and after that let's see what it look like 
yeah it is still like speed in but as you can see the uh, for the for the animation out uh, we haven't implemented yet and then after that uh, let's just use uh, model I mean uh, let's use the event that uh, bootstrap already provide for height bs model so it's basically uh, triggered when the model is height and function so what we want to do is uh, adding the uh, the the animation from here I mean uh, like toggling uh, uh, remove the class from the animate in and add the class for the animate out so uh, let's do it uh, for sorry uh, <coughs> this uh, add class and then uh, this so okay, let's get the attribute of the uh, the animation out the animate out and then after that we remove a class from the, from the animation in like save it and after that let's take a look again to refresh and we click close it uh, it doesn't do anything because uh, it's too fast uh, since the height what the height do is just uh, using the display none what we want to do is uh, let the animation play it and then after that uh, we hide it after it so let's stop the event uh, at the uh, variable from uh, for this function event event dot prevent Default. Yeah, save it and then we'll reverse again. So it's look like this, and when we close it, yeah, it's it's just uh, using the rollout rollout animation. But as you can see, uh, the model uh, the model process the whole process is stopped. Like for the model backdrop here, still there. It should be removed as well. As well, uh, but uh, we don't want to to use uh, a basic. Uh, I mean, uh, we don't want to manually remove it, uh, remove the model backdrop. But we want to use the bootstrap function for hiding, because if uh, I have tried it, when we remove it uh, manually the model is break uh, the event is breaking uh, we can we cannot use it anymore so let's uh, use the model uh, so uh, we need to make uh, I mean uh, call an event again it's called uh, animation uh, sorry animation n it's basically uh, called after the animation n so function then. and then what we want to do is uh, checking if our model is uh, still uh, is using the animation out or the animation in because we don't want it to call it when uh, when the animation n is just for the in so let's uh, get uh, this function has class this class uh, this attribute data motion out so if uh, they use the uh, the model still using the that animation out then then we can just uh, do something about it what I want to do is uh, for this is uh, reverse the uh, the class back so what we want to do is just uh, remove class of the animation out and then add class of the animated animation in and then 
uh, because we want to use the basic uh, the default function of, uh, of model height from bootstrap then we need to use this model height okay save it and then let's take a look On as well, and we close it. Yeah, it's back because uh, what happened is uh, when we close it, uh, we call this model height again. And what happened is uh, it's called the this height BS model as well. So, what we want to do is like uh, making a flag for that so we can avoid this is to be called again so let add uh, maybe like uh, an attribute let's say uh, add uh, uh, let's say uh, is uh, from animation anim, anim, if, um, oh, sorry it's, it's from yeah, animation and uh, and the value is uh, up to you it's true and then save it and then what we want to do is uh, have a condition here this uh, this TTR is from animation and sorry it's it should be the opposite of it uh, just add the uh, exclamation mark here and then after that we want to remove this attribute again and then this is the remove uh, uh, TTR and save it let's take a look and we click on it yeah it's uh, working and we close it yeah it's uh, it's waiting for the animation end and then after that uh, it just close it I click on again and close it again yeah it's working as expected okay and that's it uh, maybe we can try to use uh, different uh, different animation for just for testing for example yeah this is this uh, zoom animation up uh, we can just add it to our attribute here that uh, animate uh, in here and then for the out let's just do uh, so, something different like rotate up left uh, no. oh yeah for the in we need to use the in animation this is in and for the out uh, we need to use the out one for example uh, something unique maybe yeah this is the one okay this uh, just added here the attribute added that data animated out and then save it and reload again click again yeah it's just the zoom up in and we close it it's just the flip one so it's worked perfectly now uh, so that's it uh, uh, if you have any question about the, uh, about this tutorial, just uh, comment below. And also for the script, uh, I I will put it in my GitHub. Uh, I will uh, provide the link below and in the description. So thank you for watching and uh, see you next in the next tutorial. Bye bye.